In Android Studio, this is done using Gradle, a build toolkit that manages dependencies and allows you to define custom build logic. You can manually start a Gradle build in the IDE by selecting Make Project. You can also do this by going to the Build menu and selecting Make Project from there. Or, you can use the Gradle console to observe any logs or build errors. Or, open the Gradle Tasks window to see any available tasks. Double-clicking on any of them will execute it. This all works from the command line too. Once you've navigated to the root of your project folder, you can run Gradle W Tasks to see all of the tasks that you can run. You can learn more about Gradle by checking out the links in the instructor notes. For now, note that we start with a project, which Gradle then builds, and then packages the bytecode along with the external resources such as images, strings, and UI XML into an application package. This is called an APK, and it's a specially formatted zip file. Once you've got your APK ready to go, it's signed and then pushed to the device using the Android Debug Bridge, or ADB. If we return to the terminal, you can see that ADB lets you interact and debug apps on any device, physical or virtual. Things like pushing and pulling files, viewing logcat output, or even running a remote shell. So once Android Studio has ADB installed the APK, it uses ADB again to launch the app by sending a start command via the remote shell, by identifying the package and class name of your main activity. 